Hold on, real quick. If, for some miraculous reason, or event, that Bacayao, you see this, I want to thank you, my brother. I love you, I miss you, and we got to keep in touch. It's been, I haven't talked to you in years, but just know that you affected my life drastically. All right, I'll leave it there. Peace. Hey, what's up, everybody? Victor here with Celebrating Victories, and I'm here with Vic Vlog number two. Okay, y'all seen the first one, A Day in the Life, pretty much what my day looks like, what I do, um, typically, you know. Uh, but right now, I want to talk about something different, okay? I'm actually just here hanging out with Boom, and I have Mars over there. They're just holding on places, and, and they just kind of need to relax and stay there uh, while I chop it up with you guys. Um, but I want to talk about a, I'm going to tell you uh, about a situation or an experience that I had that was really life-changing for me. Okay, this one conversation with this individual um, was was pretty big in, in my life. It, it made me, I'm sure it helped me, you know, become where I am right now um, to be able to just kind of, you know, hang out with some flip flops and, you know, do work inside my garage and, and chop it up with you guys and talk about things that I'm doing, setting up an ATM business, um, pretty much living financially free. To be able to do whatever I want, I could buy a lot of different things and, and you know take care of my family um, without having to lose sleep at night, without having to be in debt, you know. And this all came from this one conversation, okay. And um, if y'all didn't know, I was in the military. I, I was in I was in the, in the army um, a few years back, and I joined the army early 2011, okay. So I was young, and. Um, there was one day, you know, I, I was I was in my office and I, I walked downstairs um, and in the military, you have a sergeant major, you have a colonel and they're like the higher rankings and the, they're like the leaders of the entire unit, if y'all didn't know. Um, and the individual that I'm talking about, his name is Pacquiao, that's his last name, okay? Um, and, you know, he was the sergeant major and the colonel's driver, so he, he was like their secretary. He just kind of sat there in his desk and, you know, he waited until they needed to go somewhere or they needed him to do something, print out paper, whatever. He just did a, uh, and it's a pretty prestigious job, so don't get it twisted. Um, that, you know, they only select the, the best of the best to do stuff like that, you know, and he was, he was an older, he was an older soldier. Um, and I remember walking downstairs from my office, I think I was going out or going to use the bath. I don't, I don't remember what, it was years and years ago. And, you know, we just kind of stopped. I just stopped and I was, you know, I was leaned over his little, um, they had like a little half wall. And we just started talking. And, um, you know, from that conversation, I'm not going to, you know, make it drag it out. But from that conversation, he just told me, he he, he was like, hey, um, Gonzalez, because that that's my last name. Okay, that we pretty much call each other by our last name. Um, unless you're higher ranking. And I was really young at that time. I was young into it. He was like, hey, man, what you need to do is you need to start saving money. Okay, and I'm like, you know, what do you mean save money? You know, get paid every two weeks, and he's like, I want you to start putting that money away. And as a young soldier, as as someone that's not mature, you never really think about saving money. Um, and the reason why that's important, out. The reason why that's important is because it leads to other things. And he wasn't telling me I need to save a lot. He was just like, hey, what I want you to do, just put away, a, I think it was, we started at like $70 or $100. Sign. He was like, every paycheck you get, just put $100 away. Put it in the savings account, okay? And don't even touch it. Don't even look at it. And at first, it was kind of hard. And, you know, I was like, I was toying with the idea. I'm like, nah, man, forget that. And then, you know, because you want to, I was, I wanted to buy Jordans. I wanted to go out to eat all the time at restaurants. You know, I'm like, oh, I can use that money for other stuff. So, um... I ended up doing it, man. I ended up just listening to him and doing it, and months and months went by. A year went on, and all of a sudden I had like a thousand, two thousand dollars into my account. And I'm like, oh shit, you know? I'm like, damn, this this is cool. You know, I never really had that much money just, you know, to be able to just have and stare at it and use it at any time. So it was cool. So then what I ended up doing, I started putting more money away, and you know, it turned into like three hundred dollars a month, and then you know, just just start, I just started saving that. And building and building and building uh, my savings account okay and the reason why this is so important is because it led me to where I am now because if I didn't have that savings and I was in the military for uh, about six or seven years and I, 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 and um, 
you know, I did that. I did that pretty much most of my career, you know, because I started that like the second, I think the second year I was in or whatever, we had that conversation. And it just build and build and build. I was able to pay off my car. So I ended up just saving up more and more money. And then I was like, just looking at it grow and grow and grow. And I was able to do different things. I was able to pay my car payment off really, uh, really fast. You know, I was able to do other things. I was able to, you know, set up a business, my dog training company. If you're trying to open up a business, if you're trying to do anything, you need money. You don't want to have to, you know, owe money. You don't want to be in debt. You know, unless you're trying to start up like some crazy big ass business that you're trying to hire 300 employees initially and you know, even but even then you don't start off like that. You have to start small, you have to start minute and grow. And you need money in order to start anything. You know, just to start up a, a business entity is $300. You know, um, whether it's an LLC, whether whatever it is, sole proprietorship, you have to start off and you're going to spend money initially just, just to even get the identity of, hey, I have a business with a business name and all that to do stuff the right way. Um, so the whole point of all this, me saying all this is just to let you guys know, if you want to be successful in life, it starts with just, just a little a little small commitment of $50, $100, um, whatever you can do initially, just start, get that momentum because once you have that momentum and that goes, that momentum thing goes into everything, whether it's saving, right? You start with 50, you're like, dang, this stuff works, you know? And then you're like, oh, let me put a hundred dollars and let me put 300. And that's just momentum going, going. When you're starting, when you're starting up a business and you get your first client, you're like, oh, okay, cool. People actually, you know, want to give me money. And then you get your second and your third and your fourth. And like, you're building that momentum. You're like, oh, you, you build more confidence. It's easier and easier. Okay. So, um, that's the importance of saving. Okay, the, the power that it was able, that it gave me to do things, um, you know, that ultimately led to me, you know, open up my dog training business without having to take out a loan and paying everything straight up cash up front. Um, and then getting that money back relatively quickly as I started. And now, you know, just saving up more money and saving up more money and starting up my ATM business where I'm, I'm buying a bunch of different ATMs and I don't have to, you know, I'm not taking out a loan for this stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not breaking, you know, breaking my back. I'm not hurting my, my family. Um, you know, I'm not taking away from an emergency fund. Okay, and that's important too. You want to have yourself an emergency fund for a rainy day because things will happen. You know this stuff. Y'all know this because it has happened. Um, and if you're if you're young and you're you're watching this and it hasn't happened to you, be prepared. Be prepared because it's going to. You know, it's going to and it's inevitable. Okay, so you want to start, you know, start saving, start putting the money away, and then build up that emergency fund first. Okay, once you have that few thousand dollars that can hold you down for an emergency, um, then you start working into, you know, savings just to to do new new things. Okay, um, make the sacrifices, make the sacrifices of of um, from going from going to the to the club on the weekends to um, going to the restaurants to go eat dinner. Um, you know, make those little sacrifices, start eliminating those things and, 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 you know, eliminate going and buy some J's or buy some new sneakers on Saturday when they come out. Right. I was there. I did it. I did all that shit. Um, but you want to, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put your mental, you gotta have that mental fortitude, that intestinal fortitude to just really do it. Okay. Cause it's the hardest part is just to start. Just like when you go into the gym, you know, the, the hardest part is that first, second, third week. And then you start going consistently like, dang, this ain't bad. This is easy. Okay. Whether it's waking up early, uh, whatever it is, man, y'all, y'all, it's fucking, it's easy. It's easy. It just takes a lot of commitment. That's it. That's the hard part is the commitment. The process is easy. Doing it is easy. It's just a commitment. All right. So that's my rant. I wouldn't even call it a rant because nothing in here is negative. Everything is positivity. On this channel, so if you have negative stuff, go the other way. Find a different channel. Yeah, you know we, we don't need any of that stuff here. All about positivity, helping people out, um, making sure we're in the right <clears throat> state of mind to be productive. Making sure we're in the right state of mind, you know, to live life happily and do what we want. Okay. If you have comments, let me know. If you have questions, let me know. Um, you know, please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. If this helps you, great. If it doesn't. Uh, maybe next time, maybe I can make something new that, that will help you. All right? I'll talk to y'all later. Hold on, real quick. If, for some miraculous reason or event that, Bacayao, you see this, I want to thank you, my brother. I love you. I miss you. And we got to keep in touch. It's been, I haven't talked to you in years. But just know that you affected my life drastically. All right? I'll leave it there. Peace.